You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, Jesus, here I am again. That's it. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the man. There is power, power. save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. My sister? Yes. Yes. Keep us encouraged. You said keep us encouraged. To go on in Jesus' Yes. To go on in his name. I can say that's the utmost right yes. there. Yes. Yes. Got to keep going on. Can't stop, won't stop. I got a prayer request. You know, mm -hmm. I talked to some of a well-to-do family. Mm -hmm. And all of them, all, every single one of them have a problem with this. They just aren't saved. Mm -hmm. They rebel against it. You know, yeah. They try to constantly undermine me for being for my involvement over the years. Oh, yeah. well, that's just Glenn. He's into religion and church because he needed that. You know, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a level of arrogance that's really hard to break through. So could you just pray for my family? Yes, you know, yes. Especially my brother Robbie and my mother. Amen. Know. Amen. Honest, sincere, fair request. And the Lord is able to break through those strongholds oh, yeah. that people hold in their minds. Yep. Amen. Amen. Get their hearts turned over to the Lord. Um, First Lady. Thank you, Praise the Lord. Was her mother? Yes. Oh, I didn't realize that was her mother. Yeah, that was her mother. Oh, okay. Amen. Certainly. Yes. Please. Let us pray. Yes. Let us pray for her and the family. Do you know about the arrangements? Saturday. Uh huh. At the morning Saturday at morning stop. Wake again, Oh, amen. All right. Pray for the Dawson family who will also be at Morning Star on Friday. Uh, Tom Dawson. Probably when I was going, I was my best friend. Mm -hmm. And his service is going to be on Friday. On Friday. Amen. Let us pray then for the bereaved families as well that are in our community. Amen. Uh, my brother? Yes, I just ask that the uh, church will keep me lifted up in prayer, my family. Um, I'll talk to Sister Beckett. Yes. Uh, she's home now. Amen. That's good. And, um, I asked her, did she get the car? She said, yeah. She said that helped her so much. Amen. She good. Said, oh, thank you. Oh, amen. And, um, you know, she said, keep her in prayer. And uh, also, you know, keep her in uh, Elder Stephanie in prayer. Amen. Keep her lifted up. Amen. We 
got a lot to pray for and a lot to pray about. Amen. The Bible says the effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous does what? Avail as much. And we're believers of that. Amen. He said men should always pray and not to faint. Amen. All right. So if there be none other prayer requests, we'd like to ask the church to stand. Thank you, Lord. And let every heart pray, O oh, gracious Father, in the precious and the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord. We just say thank you, thank you. and we praise you for your goodness, and your mercy, your love, and your kindness. Yes. We thank you for your greatness, Lord, for yes. who you are and what you mean to us. We ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every request that's been made known to you. Remember men and women and children everywhere. Remember, Lord, those that are afflicted and slick that are going through in their bodies, Lord. Remember the bereaved families in the name of Jesus. Remember each and every prayer request in a special way. We pray, Lord, for family members that need to come to know the Lord and in the pardon of their sins, to be saved, sanctified, and filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. We pray, Lord, hallelujah, that you continue to bless those that need healing and deliverance in their bodies. We know that you are a healer. We know that you are a deliverer in the name of Jesus. And now, Lord, we ask you to bless our service on today. Send forth your anointing. Send forth your spirit. Send forth your grace. Hallelujah. Send forth your words of edification, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that we may receive of the Lord. Hallelujah. That we might walk worthy of the vocation where we've been called. And Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. As we pray for the daughter. Hallelujah. We give you praise. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let your glory be revealed. Let the manifestation of your power. Hallelujah. Be revealed and manifested in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll be mindful of it. Hallelujah. We'll be mindful of mercy. Thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. It's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. He said, enter in his gates with thanksgiving and enter in his courts with praise. Amen. I want you to turn to me to, with me tonight. Uh, hallelujah. To the book of Psalms. Psalms 24. Thank you, Lord. And I, and I truly, uh, I know that on the, that Monday, last Monday, we had that solar eclipse. Amen. It was truly spectacular. <laughs> to say the least. Amen. Yes. To say the least. Hey, I didn't know that uh, my emotions would take over like that. <laughs> Being in the midst of it, having the the dramatization of the darkness and yeah. the coldness and coldness. seeing the sun, yeah. you know, shining through in spectacular color. And you know, God is awesome. Yes, he is. Amen. We serve an awesome God. Yes, Amen. Yes, Thank you, Lord. Oh, there's yes, nothing yes. for him to do. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing for him to do that. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. My brother. Bishop, even the, the birds, they birds. Didn't, birds didn't understand what we did. <laughs> I'm sitting outside yeah. watching, and they're just going in circles because they, they didn't know what they were supposed to do. Yeah. Had to be 100, 200 birds just going in circles. Circle. Five by five. They couldn't figure out what to do. Five by five. They say the animals at the zoo went inside because they thought it was time to go to time bed. Time to go to bed. <laughs> God is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Five by five. Hallelujah. So. And we praise him for that. We praise him for all that he is to us. Yes. And all that he means to us. Amen. 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 We want to ask our reader if she would, it's only really uh, 10 verses uh, to this particular song. And uh, we'd like to ask her if, if, if she would read uh, through this song and then we'll do our normal uh, Bible study and go through it verse by verse. Amen. Sorry. Amen. All right, read. The earth is the Lord's, and the rulers thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. Yes. For he hath founded it upon the sea, and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul into man unto vanity, nor sworn to see. He shall receive the blessing. 
Eli. Amen. Can we say amen? Amen. To the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. And uh, the Lord had dropped this song in my heart uh, last week and it wanted me to, uh, wanted us to talk about this, to, to really uh, focus our attention upon it. Amen. Psalms uh, 24. Actually, Psalms 23, Psalms 22 and 23 and 24, a trilogy, they, they really go together. Amen. They go together. And uh, Psalms 24 is uh, a Psalm of David. And it's really a celebration. Amen. It's really a celebration um, that David wrote uh, for us to look at how we ought to come before the Lord, yeah. before his presence. Amen. It's, it's, it's key that we come before the Lord uh, the right way. Amen. From before the presence of the Lord. And I want to say this, that, that we are, uh, we have to put this in our mind, in our mind, that we are uh, servants of the Lord, and we are warriors of the Lord, and we are also worshipers yeah. of the Lord. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Right. Right. And that goes hand in hand. We should never lose that as our identity. Amen. 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 That I am a servant, that you are a servant of the Lord, that you are a warrior of the Lord. Amen. And that you are a worshiper of the Lord. And those three things go hand in hand. Amen. You can't separate the three. They go together. Amen. It's a part of our identity. Amen. And it's a part of our heritage. Of who we are. Amen. If you don't see yourself as a servant. If you don't see yourself as a warrior. If you don't see yourself as a worshiper of God. You'll miss out. Amen. You'll be, uh, as I often say, weak as desert dust. Amen. You won't be able to, to serve God, live for God. You won't be able to defend, amen, against the enemy. Uh, you'll, you'll just be like a cloud floating. In the end, Amen. Without without rain, yeah. uh, without without nothing, Amen. So you have to see yourself literally yeah. as a servant of the Lord. When I say a servant of the Lord, I mean one who keeps His commandments, sure. walks in His ways, and does what He says, yes. Amen. Live your life according to prophecy, uh, the Word of God, Amen. Amen. As you live your life as it was written of you in the volume of the book. Amen? Hallelujah. Yeah. Do we got that? Yeah. I, I, gotta, I gotta live my life according to the scriptures, according to prophecy. Yeah. You have to live your life according to scriptures, according to prophecy. Yes. Amen? Yeah. And sometimes I was thinking, I'm thinking, uh, when, I, when I say that, I wonder if people really get the understanding of what I mean by that. And, and the Lord says, well, then just tell them, think about uh, Matthew 5, 6, and 7. <coughs> Amen? The Beatitudes and, he, and the instructions that Jesus gives us yes. on how to live. Amen? We are, are, are to base our lives upon, if you allow me to say it this way, Matthew 6 and 7, 5, 6, and 7. Amen. If you get that, uh, then you will understand how to be a servant of the Lord to live according to prophecy. Amen. Amen. And then uh, we have to uh, uh, be warriors. As he said, put on the whole armor of God uh, that you might be able to stand uh, against the wiles of the devil. Uh, am I right? Yes. Thank you, Lord. And then we have to be able to know how to worship God. Yeah. Amen. The reason why, uh, one major reason why we have to worship God is because I have to be renewed from being a servant uh, and from being a warrior. 
huh? and being a, being, being a worshiper, God is able to renew your strength, huh? to renew your mind, to renew your spirit. He's able then to heal you. Uh, if you're a worshiper of God, he'll heal you. Uh, you'll know his love and understand uh, the mission and the assignment. <laughs> Don't with me tonight. Uh, that's why you got to worship him, to see his glory. Amen. To help aid your level of faith. Amen. Because you got to walk with God by faith. Amen. And through worship, you get to understand God. Uh, you, get to, you get to know God. Amen. And then, as I said, God is then able to heal you, uh, to strengthen you. Yeah. Amen. To encourage you uh, to go further in the Lord. Amen. You get to really understand the meaning of Jesus Christ. Uh, hallelujah. You don't, you don't take his sacrifice for granted. No. Amen. Hallelujah. You know what you have in him. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. You won't be so easily... Uh, I'm not talking about you, but I'm talking about the person next to you, I guess. <laughs> you, won't, you won't be so easily to give it up. Amen. Hallelujah. To sell out. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I want to worship him. All right. So as we get ready then to go into these particular scriptures, then, we have to understand that uh, this scripture was, was put together... Uh, by King David. Amen. And King David had a special relationship with God. Amen. If we go over, I just want to put the scripture in your mind. Acts chapter uh, 13 and verse 22. Amen. If we have our reader read that. Acts 13 and verse 22. Thank you, Lord. We're going to be looking at quite a bit of scripture today. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. Y'all just gave me permission. I appreciate it. <laughs> Acts 13 and verse 22. When you have removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king. All right, David, he removed. Who did he God remove? Saul. Saul. Why? Why did he remove Saul? Disobedient. Saul was wicked. Right. Yeah, he was disobedient. He was wicked. Right. Amen. He was a wicked king. Can we say that? Yeah. Yes. I don't like to call people wicked, but he was wicked. <laughs> he was Amen. Wicked. God called him wicked. <laughs> All right. So he removed Saul. He rejected him. And then what? He raised up David to be their king. Amen. He raised up David. Amen. And, and, you know, we need to look at the scripture and think about it. He raised them up. David was in the sheepfold. Amen. His brothers and everybody rejected him. Amen. Even when uh, 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 the, the, king, uh, the prophet Samuel, thank you. Even when the prophet Samuel went to find and anoint. Amen. Uh, uh, they brought everybody uh, before uh, Saul, Samuel, except for David. Uh, and David, and even Samuel looked at one of the brothers and said, oh, surely this is the one here. Uh, looked at the outward appearance. But I'm so glad that God doesn't look at the outward appearance, looks on yes, the inward appearance. Right. Amen. Uh, then then uh, Samuel said, well, do you have another son, Jesse? And he said, yeah, I got another one. Amen. He's out there in the sheep, sheepfold. Amen. He said, call him in. We won't rest or sit down until you call him in. Huh? Thank you, Lord. My Amen. God. We won't relax until you call him in. Amen. We, we ought to be that way about doing the work, the will of God. Right. I'm not going to relax until I do his will. Right. I'm not going to rest uh, until, until God's will be done. Right. Amen. Uh, read what you say. To whom also he gave testimony and said. Uh, now, God, now who's testifying? God testified. Read what he said. I have found David, uh -huh. the son the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, a man after my own desire, amen, a man after my own heart, amen, 
And that's why David had this particular assignment, which we're talking about, what we're getting ready to talk about in a few minutes. Amen. Only David could do this, what God had desired. He gave that assignment to David. Amen. There are certain assignments that God gives to you. Amen. Because you have him in his heart. Amen. Uh, Louis, it's, 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 it's uh, amazing. Uh, for an individual to desire God, to desire to please God, to, to desire to worship God, amen, to go after God with all your strength and all your might, to love God with all your being, yeah. amen, hallelujah, be a person after God's own heart. Yeah. As the deer panteth after the water rose, yeah. uh, so panteth my soul after thee, O God, amen. Read, read the rest of that. Which shall fulfill all my needs. Now notice, David uh, was, uh, has his assignment was to fulfill the will of God. Yes. What did God do? That was our assignment. Mm. Oh, it is our assignment. <laughs> huh? To fulfill the will of God. And notice what the requirement is. You have to love God with all your heart. Uh, if right. you're gonna do God's will, you gotta love Him with all your heart. Right. Amen. Amen. Uh, but that means with all of your intellect, your will, and your desires. When it says just heart like that in one word, it means intellect, will, and desire. Amen. Mm -hmm. You got to love God with all your all. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. And He said, "Don't leave our soul." Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. You gotta have all of that. Amen. All of that has to be dedicated to God. Yeah. If it's not, if, if your desires are not dedicated to God, the enemy will find avenue to slip in. Sure. Amen. If your, if your thoughts are not connected to God and to doing his will, the enemy will find place to slip in. Yeah. Amen. If your soul is not committed to God, the enemy will find place to slip in. Amen? If you are not a worshiper of God and Him alone, the enemy will find way to slip in. Oh, yeah. Am I right? Right. Yeah. All right. Amen. So let's go back over. Thank you, Lord. I'm starting to feel my oats now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's go back over then to Psalm uh, 24. Amen? Now, this particular psalm, this particular psalm was written uh, by David uh, in celebration of the returning of the Ark of the Covenant. Amen? This particular psalm was written by David in returning the Ark of the Covenant. Amen? And y'all know, uh, uh, some of y'all may not know the history of the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, God had Moses make that Ark, the Ark of the Covenant. And the Ark of the Covenant it really represented the presence of God. Amen? It represented God's presence. And, and uh, uh, because King Saul, King Saul, uh, no, let me, let, me, let me go a little further. The Philistines, uh, because of Israel's uh, lack of attention and obedience to God, yes. stole the ark. <laughs> They stole the Ark of the Covenant. Right. Amen. And, and some historians say they took it, they had it for 60 years. Uh, but scripture bears it out that they had it at least seven years. Amen. And uh, uh, they had that Ark. Uh, and they uh, kept it a while. And then when they kept it, uh, it wasn't good for them. They encountered diseases. Emrods uh, or hemorrhoids. Uh, and uh, God was working on them folks. <laughs> Amen. Because they, they shouldn't have had it. Amen. Wow. So they had desired to return it. Amen. They desired to return it. Uh, but, but, but King Saul, he wasn't desirous to have the presence of God with him. Amen. Which I, which I would step out to say that that was one of his major problems in why he failed God. Uh, because he didn't desire 
to be in God's presence. Huh? He didn't desire to have the presence of the Lord with him. Amen. He wanted to do it his way. Burger King. Amen. When an individual does not desire to have the presence of God with them, or it doesn't have a mind to, to, to even acknowledge God or have a desire for God, that individual is subject and will fail. Sure. Amen. If you as a saint of God uh, 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 lose your desire to be in the presence of the Lord, watch out. Amen. Hallelujah. If, 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 that, if that is you, and if that happens to you, you need to fall on your knees and cry out to God, help me. Yes. Amen. Yes. Help me now. Yes. Huh? Thank you, Lord. You follow what I'm saying? Yes. Stop, drop, and roll. Mm. Huh? Huh? <laughs> stop. Just stop what you're doing. Huh? I don't care if you're teaching Sunday school. Stop huh? preaching up here on the pulpit. Stop yeah. uh, ushering in the back. Stop uh, uh, whatever it is, cooking, uh, cleaning. Yes. If you realize that, man, I don't have a desire to be in the presence of God, uh, uh, stop. Uh, because you want a, you want a, 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 a highway to hell. Yes, sir. Uh, a highway to hell. Yeah. Uh, it's a, that's a bad state. Uh, Saul, King Saul, he he was rejected by God because he had he didn't have a desire for God. Mm. Uh, he didn't reverence God. Right. Amen. Amen. Uh, I don't want this Bible class to be about King Saul, but we have to talk about it. Right. Amen. Amen. Y'all with me tonight? Yeah. Hallelujah. Now turn with me then uh, to 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 the. Uh, to First Chronicles, First Chronicles, chapter fifteen and verse sixteen. Oh, no, I'm gonna go to verse sixteen. I'm gonna start with the first verse. We're gonna drop down because I want to show you what this what this psalm is about. Amen. First Chronicles, chapter sixteen. Now, David, uh, if we were to go to uh, 1 Samuel chapter 6, we're not going to go there, 6 and 1, we would see that the Philistines was given back that ark, you know, because of the trouble they was having. Amen? Uh, David, here, I wanted to show you why he wrote this song, what this song was about. Amen? It was about a celebration. Amen? Thank you, Lord. And with that celebration, there must be sanctification. Amen. That was a beautiful message. First word that uh, Evangelist Jackie gave about celebration. Yeah. Amen. How to celebrate the Lord. Yeah. And the Lord wants us to celebrate him. Yes. Amen. But the only way to celebrate him properly, you must sanctify yourself. Yes. Amen. You follow me? It goes hand in hand. You can't truly celebrate the Lord uh, if you're not sanctified. Amen? Holy. You follow me? That God, 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 you know, I, I know that God, uh, the Bible says that uh, make a joyful noise, let everything that have breath do what? Praise the Lord. Those are general commands in which we should do. But those who truly celebrate God, uh, are those that that have, that have washed themselves uh, in the blood of the Lamb, that have separated themselves, amen, from the unclean thing. Why? Because your God is holy. Amen? Hallelujah. Y'all with me tonight? Thank you, Lord. We serve a holy God. Amen? Hallelujah. That's I mean, that's all. Holy God, holy God, holy God. We serve a holy God. Amen? All right, so let's look here then. Where we at? Uh, uh, First Chronicles chapter 15, uh, read. Uh, 16. Hold on, let me make sure I got it. Uh, 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 let's go with 15. My bad. Yep, 15 and 1. And David made him houses in the city of David, 
Yeah. All right. Uh-huh. All right, so David uh, was receiving the ark back. The first time he went and got that ark, he didn't do it the right way. Right. Uh, they tell you David forgot. Mm -hmm. uh, because they put that ark on some bulls and some and some 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 some, some on a, on a, on a cart uh, and carried it. Right. Amen. Where God in the book of Leviticus told him to uh, uh, bear that ark on the priests. Uh, the priests are the ones to, to carry the ark. Amen. Right. Thank you, Lord. And, and when David uh, was doing it the wrong way, they made caused the ark to go to a U-turn, go to Obed Edom's house, yeah. who was a priest, and his house was blessed. Yeah. Amen. And David saw the blessing of Obed Edom. He said, "Ah, oh, it's time for us to go get that ark." Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> so they can receive the blessings yeah. uh, of the Lord. All right, read. What's it say? Uh huh. To minister unto him forever. Now note it. The, the Levites were the priests. Amen. And aren't we priests? Uh, are, are you priests? Uh, uh, don't you offer up to God sacrifices of worship and praise? Amen. And he said, and, and because you are priests, you are chosen. Amen. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put this in your mind. You're chosen. Amen. You've been singled out. Uh, chosen by God. Amen. Amen. Tell somebody I'm chosen. chosen. I'm chosen by God. Chosen. Amen. Chosen. I'm chosen by God to carry his glory. Yes. I'm chosen by God to carry his presence. Yes. Amen. Amen. Everywhere you go, um, you, you should be carrying and understanding you have the presence of the Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. All right. Read to carry. Uh, read that verse 2 again. Then David said, None ought to carry the ark of God but the Levites. Uh -huh. For them hath the Lord chosen to carry the ark of God uh -huh. and to minister unto him forever. Read. And David gathered all Israel together to Jerusalem to bring up the ark of the Lord unto his place, uh -huh. which he had prepared for it. Read. And David assembled the children of Aaron and the Levites. Okay, now drop down to verse number 12. Notice, notice what he said here. Read. Sanctify yourselves. Sanctify yourselves. Now, what does that mean? Sanctify. Separate from what? Sin. Anything that's unclean. Uh, idolatry. Uh, idol worship. Am I right? Thank you. Uh, it, does he still require that of us today? Yes. yes. Uh, to live apart from that. Yes. Right. Amen? He requires that, doesn't he? Yes. Uh, be holy, for I am holy. Right. Amen? Sanctify. Me for the master's use. Amen? Amen? All right, read. He said, sanctify yourself. Notice, they're getting ready to receive the presence of the Lord. If you're getting ready to receive or come into the presence of the Lord, you should sanctify yourself. Yes. Amen? Amen. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Hallelujah. All right, read. Sanctify yourselves, both ye and your children. Uh huh. But rather, that you may bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel unto the place that I have prepared for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. For that we saw him not after the due order. Meaning, because they didn't do it the right way the first time. God, I like how God said he made a breach. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Many, many bust through, came through on him. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> All right, read. So the priests and the Levites sanctified themselves to bring up the ark of the Lord God of Israel. Uh huh. Read. And David spake to the chief of the Levites to appoint their brethren to be the singers with instruments of music, psaltery, and harps and cymbals, sounding by lifting up the voice with joy. 
That's worship. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's worship. God wants you to be servants. He wants you to be warriors. And he wants you to be a worshiper of him. Amen. Some people say, oh, I don't like to worship. Uh, then you don't like God. Uh, you follow me? Right. God commands a worship. He deserves a worship. He deserves your praise. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right. So the Levites appointed Heman, the son of Joel. All right. Well, drop down. We're not going we to drop down to uh, uh, verse 25. So David and the elders of Israel and the captains over the thousands went to bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of the house of Obedet. 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 I'd like to say that. Y'all say that too. <laughs> Obed Edom. Yeah. And, and he brought it out of his house with joy. Why? Because God's presence was there. The anointing was there. And the glory of God was there. Amen. When you're in the presence of God, you should have joy. Right. Amen. There should be joy in your face, joy in your spirit, and joy in your heart. Right. Amen. All right. Read it. Always. Yeah. So always have joy. And that joy of the Lord becomes your strength. Amen. To get you through. That's why I say you have to worship. Amen. If you want to be strong in the Lord, you have to worship so God can strengthen you. Amen. Uh, people who don't worship God are weak. Uh, why? Because they're not in his presence. They're not receiving of his glory. He's not healing them. He's not strengthening them. They're not communing with him. Right. Amen. So you don't get what you, re what you need. Amen. If you want to get what you need, you have to come to his presence. Yes. Amen. Amen. Go over. Go over. I'm going to get you real quick. Go ahead, brother. I just, um, you said strength. It's the, it's the joy of the Lord. Yeah. It's our strength. It's our strength. And that comes from, I mean, it comes from all things in God, but praise is important. Yeah, it's Worship important. Is important. It's, important. it's important. Go over to Hebrews chapter. No, we stay where you are. Don't let that go because we got to finish that up. But go over to Hebrews chapter number four and verse number six. Amen. Hallelujah. No. I'm sorry. Go to verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly. All right. Read, read 15. It's good that when you start out of scripture, read the top. Then go there. But we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmity. What's his name? Jesus. Jesus. He's a high priest. Now notice how he said it. It goes hand in hand when I'm telling you about worship. He, we have not a, a high priest that cannot be touched with what? Our weaknesses. Yes, sir. We have weaknesses. Yes. Amen? Amen? And then he tell, he said, let the weak say I'm what? Strong. Strong. Amen? Huh? So Jesus can be touched with the feelings of our weaknesses. Amen? We all have issues. We all have problems. We all have, we're human. We have hills and valleys. Amen. And we need a touch from the Lord. All right, read. What does it say? But we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. Uh huh. But was in all points tempted like as we are. Uh huh. Yet without sin. Now notice, Jesus was in all points tempted like you and me. Huh? Huh? But what? Yet without what? Sin. I read. Let us therefore come boldly. Now notice, because I need healing, because I need deliverance, he says, come with confidence. Huh? In the, in the shed blood of Christ, the sacrifice that he made for us. Amen? Hallelujah. And God's willingness to heal us, to help us, to deliver us. Amen? So he says, let us come boldly. That word boldly there means with confidence. Amen. Doesn't matter what you've done. Huh? Come with confidence. Amen. No matter where you've been, come with confidence. 
Amen? Because he's the only one that is able to help you. I have no other help. Huh? No other strength. I have no other deliverance huh? except from Jesus. So therefore, me knowing that, huh? I've got to come boldly, come with confidence so I can receive my help. Now, the reason why the woman with the issue of blood was healed, which we studied on last week, she came with confidence. Her confidence was, if I but touch huh, the hem of his garment, I'm going to be made whole. Uh, you've got to have confidence in the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Huh? His, his confidence that he sent the blood to heal you, to deliver you. Uh, to strengthen you. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. Be come boldly to the throne of grace. Amen. Today, this is the throne of grace. Amen. This represents the throne of grace. I want y'all to hear me now. I only got one amen. Uh, thank you, Lord. I'm telling you uh, <laughs> that this altar here uh, that is sanctified for your deliverance. This altar here is sanctified for your, your, your power. Your anointing has been established for you to come boldly to this throne. Amen. Oh, y'all Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. This is the place. Hallelujah. For healing. This is the place that has been ordained by God. For your deliverance. Yeah. Amen. You've yeah. got to come boldly to the throne of grace. Yeah. Uh, to seek after God. Hallelujah. To do what? For what purpose? To find help. To find what? Find grace. To find what? Grace. grace. Amen. To find grace. Yeah. Uh, and that's God's strength. Yeah. Huh? That's God's strength. Huh? Read. To find what? Grace. Oh, let me read it with you. Where you at? Oh, I'm sorry. I missed one. I know it. I felt it in my bones. <laughs> let, us therefore, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace. There it is. There it is. There it is. Uh, we need to obtain God's mercy. Amen. Amen. Come boldly to the throne of grace. That we might obtain what? Mercy. Mercy. Read it. And find grace grace to help help in time of need. need. Amen. Amen. Read that again. Let us come boldly. Let us come boldly. Boldly means with what? Confidence. And it doesn't matter if you're a sinner. Huh? Because how you gonna be made righteous on your own? Can't. You can't. Amen. You gotta come to Him. Yes, right. You gotta come through Christ. Yes. Am I right? Amen. So it doesn't matter what you've done. That confidence means you have faith in the shed blood of Jesus. Yes. That I need your help. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, we need His help. Yeah. Don't we need His help? Yeah. I need His help. Yes, right. Amen. I'm, I'm tired of living beneath my privilege. Yeah. I, I'm tired of letting the enemy do whatever he want to do with me. Mm. I, I, I need his help. Yeah. Uh, and, and the beauty of it is, uh, I can talk to Jesus about my problem, uh, and I ain't got to worry about gossipers. Oh. Uh, oh. I ain't got to worry about no gossip. Oh. He ain't going to gossip on me. Oh. Uh, yeah. I can tell him uh, yeah. all about my problem. I'll be honest and open. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Ain't got to worry about it. Mm-mm. Ain't got to hear it again. Say it. Say it. Huh? Say it. Say it. Hallelujah. <laughs> so I can talk to him. Yeah. Yeah, Amen. And he can be touched with the feelings of my infirmity. Yeah. My weakness. He knows what yes, he sir. knows. Yes, sir. Huh? Yeah. He was tempted in all points. Huh? Just like ye are, but yes. yet without sin. Yes. Amen. Amen. There's no temptation that is taking you, but such as common to man. Huh? But your God is what? Amen. Amen. Huh? 
devil shall. He's faithful, so he won't suffer you to be tempted above that which you are able. Yes, sir. Huh? And every temptation, he's done what? So that you might be able to bear it. You got to come boldly to the throne to find the way of escape. That's it. Huh? To get your answer. Huh? You carrying a burden. Huh? And, and you, you, you walking around confused. Huh? Where, where if you came boldly to the throne, fell on your knees, took about five minutes, he'll tell you what you need. Wow. Huh? How shall we neglect so great a salvation? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You suffering stuff you needlessly. Yes. Huh? Why? Because you haven't taken the time yes. to I come know. boldly to the throne. I mm. Amen. I, I feel my bishopric now. <laughs> huh? You gotta come. Right. Come without money. Come without price. Come with a broken spirit and a contrite heart. Yes. He will in no wise despise. Yes. Huh? Huh? Just smoke, smoke your breath, hit your breath. Huh? Say, Lord, it's me again. Yeah. Huh? Huh? A sinner, I need your help. Yeah, I know that's huh? right. Don't worry about who's around you. Huh? Don't matter who's on the side of you. Yeah. Just say, Lord, it's me. Amen. It's me. Yeah. It's me. I need help. Yeah, I, I need help. Yeah. Huh? Lord. And I'm coming boldly. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you can even say this, Lord, I'm standing on the promise of Hebrews 4 and 16. Uh, I'm standing on your word. Yeah. Oh, that'll move God then. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, if you stand on his word and don't mess around and mess around and quote it. Oh, my God. Uh, God right, right. Something is about to happen. Right. You're about to get a breakthrough. Uh, you about to get you about to get some peace. Yeah. Uh, you about to get some answers. Uh, you with me tonight? Now, 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 now the other half of that is when he reveals that kind of old shot, the Holy Ghost. When he reveals to you what thus you need to do, uh, you need to stay right there until you get some strength to get up off your knees and then go do what God said. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Huh? Because if you don't, you just wasted your time. Right. Wow. Huh? Y'all with me tonight? Yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. This is the Holy Ghost talking here. Hallelujah. Because I was going a whole nother way. Hallelujah. All right, where we at? Come boldly to the throne of grace. Now you got to you got to obtain that mercy. You want God's mercy. Yes, sir. Amen. Read. And now notice, you need to find God's grace to help you. Yes, sir. Huh? Read. In time of need. That's why, that's why you got to be a worshiper. Yeah. Amen? That's why you got to seek his face. Yes. That's why you got to sanctify yourself. Yeah. Amen? Keep yourself away from the unclean thing. Amen? Hallelujah. Uh, Y'all with me tonight? Yes, sir. All right, let's go back over here. Uh, uh, uh. First Chronicles 16. What verse is it? Right, verse 17. Thank you. And it came to pass when God helped the Levites that bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, that they offered seven bulls and seven rams. All right, when you I'm sorry. What verse is it? <laughs> Six, uh, 15. Oh, Jesus, I'm looking at the wrong scripture. All right, 15 and 26. All right, read 25 again. So David and the elders of Israel and the captains over thousands went to bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of the house of Obed-Edom with joy. All right, read Right, they offered God a sacrifice. Notice, God helped them. Yes. Amen. When you want to bear the presence of the Lord, God has to help you. Yes, sir. Amen. You don't do it on your own. Mm. God has to help you. Wow. That's why you got to come boldly to the throne of grace. 
uh, to obtain mercy, to find help. Uh, help of the Lord. God has to help you. Yes. You can't bear this on your own. Amen. You need God's help. Yes. Amen. Yes. Brother. Absolutely, it's God's will. That's what He wants. Because, because, because without Him, you can do nothing. But with Him, you can do everything. Amen. And then, and then, uh, that's how He gets His glory by operating through you. You were created for His glory. You were designed for the glory of God. Everything that God designed was for His glory. Even the devil was for the glory of God. Wow. Amen. Everything. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord. My God. All right. Read. Uh-huh. And David was clothed with a robe of fine linen. All right. Now David was clothed with the robe of fine linen. And all the Levites that bear the ark. Uh-huh. And the singers. Uh-huh. And Tim and I. Yes. The master of the song of the singers. Yes. Uh huh. Thus all Israel brought up the cup of the covenant of the Lord with shouts. Uh huh. And the sound of the sound of the cornet. <laughs> now notice they brought up that ark with shouting and the sounds of the cornet and with trumpets and with trumpets and cymbals. And cymbals. Making a noise with psalms and harps. Mm. I, I tell, when I was sitting next to the rabbi yesterday, uh, Sunday, I said it's kind of loud up in here. Thank you because know, the music is going on. Yeah. Amen. Uh, uh, you know, if you don't like loud music, don't go to heaven. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> don't come here. Mm. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Me. And it came to pass as the ark of the covenant of the Lord came to the city of David, that Michael, the daughter of Saul, looking out at a window, saw King David dancing in flames. Uh -huh. And she despised him in her heart. Yeah, she didn't like to see David worshiping God. Mm. It's going to be people that don't like to see you worship God. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. What should you do with those people? Ignore them. Ignore them. Yeah. Ignore them. Yeah. Pray for them, too. Yeah. Ignore them. Yeah. Keep yeah. moving. You don't understand my praise. Yeah. You don't understand what I've been through. Right. Uh, you don't understand my assignment. Uh, you don't understand what God has me. Hey, come on here, somebody. That's right. Hallelujah. People, people that ain't laboring for the Lord, uh, they ain't going to praise God like you praise them no. if you're laboring for the Lord. They can't relate to it. Right. Absolutely not. Uh, they don't understand the sacrifice right. uh, of what you've been through. David's been through a lot. Uh, he had to hide in caves. Amen. Uh, 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 dodge spears and knives. Amen. King Saul had an army after him. Right. Not just ten hoodlums a day, <laughs> an army uh, to kill David. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And, yeah, and Lord. David, David had another type of praise, mm -hmm. another type of worship. David's son even tried to uh, usurp the throne from him. Oh, yes. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Not at this time, but it happened in his lifetime. That's right. Amen. Right. Uh, it take it take. You know, don't 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 don't. If you see me praising them, amen, don't, don't, don't try to shut me up. Yeah, amen. Right. Uh, now, if I see you praising them, I ain't going to try to shut you up. Amen. Uh, you. Because I don't know what you've been through. No. Yeah. I don't know like you know. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Right. Hallelujah. All right, read. Go back. Yeah, read. I, I like this, these next ones just because I like them. All right. Go ahead. 16 and 1, what does it say? So they brought the ark of God. Uh -huh. Now this is why David wrote this song. Amen. Uh, the Psalm 24. All right. Amen. It's a rep, it's a celebration of this moment. Yeah. Amen. Uh, it's a celebration of this moment. They set the ark in place. Amen. All right, read. And they offered verse seven. Read. And when David had made an end of offering, the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. 
Uh huh. And he's out to every one of his both man and woman. Yeah. I like that. Uh, David knew how to serve the people. Mm -hmm. uh, give him some fish, a flesh, give him some uh, some bread, amen, and give him some wine. Yeah. Amen. The bread and the wine represented communion. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. Communion. Yeah. And the flesh represented the sacrifice of Christ. Mm -hmm. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If you're gonna come into his presence, mm -hmm. amen. Have communion with the Lord. Yes, Amen. Amen. And bring him a sacrifice. Right. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Now, let's, before we get into Psalms 24, we got one more verse to go to. Let's go over here to Exodus, because I got to get this in your mind. Amen. Exodus uh, 25. I was slow because I didn't want y'all to beat me. Exodus <clears throat> Exodus 25. When you have it, say amen. 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 And it's good to go through these scriptures because you can have it in your mind. All right. Exodus 25, and then um, drop down. Well, let's look at verse number 10. Yep. Represents deity, God's deity. Read. Thou shalt cast four wings of gold for it, and put them in the four corners thereof. And two rings shall be in the one side of it, and two rings in the other side of it. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt make staves of shittim wood, and overlay them with gold. Gold. And thou shalt put the staves into the rings by the side of the ark. That the ark may be born with them. The stage shall be in the rings of the ark. They shall not be taken from. Alright, verse 16. And thou shalt put into the ark testimony which I shall give thee. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt make a seat <coughs> of pure gold. Now, this is what the scripture is referring to when it says, Come boldly to the throne of grace mm -hmm. uh, to find mercy. Huh? And grace to help you. Amen. So he says, and make a mercy seat of pure gold. Read. Two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof, and a cubit and a half the breadth thereof. Uh-huh. Thou shalt make two cherubims of gold. Of beaten work shalt thou make them. How many of y'all seen the Ark of the Covenant? A picture of it. <coughs> Not the whole thing. All right. Amen. All right. Read. Now notice, there he's talking about again, the mercy seat. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's where God will meet with them. Yeah. Amen. Oh, Paul, and, that, and that two slabs represented his throne. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, the altar of the Lord represents his throne. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Where I read. Uh huh. Put the mercy seat upon the ark. And in the ark thou shalt put the testimony that I shall give thee. Uh, those are his commandments. I read. And there I will meet with thee. Now notice what he said. There I will what? Meet with 
live with them. Amen? That's huge. Huh? In this place, we want God to meet with us. Yeah. Right. Right. Amen? Don't. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Uh, above all else, I want God, I want to feel his presence. Yes, Lord. I want to be in his glory. Yeah. Amen? In, in uh, uh, who's that? In Ezekiel. Amen. He had the vision. Amen. And he, he saw the glory of the Lord. Uh, Isaiah saw the glory of the Lord. Jeremiah saw the glory of the Lord. Amen. Uh, I believe that was, who was that? That was uh, uh, Jeremiah. I believe it was Isaiah. Isaiah. He said, in the day the king Isaiah, 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 I, I also uh, saw I also what? Saw the saw Lord. The Lord. Yes. Uh, and he was what? I, I, I lifted up. Lifted up. His train Amen. His train did what? Fill the temple. Fill the temple. Uh, and then when he was in the presence of the Lord, he realized that he was undone. Yes. Uh, mm. Thank you, Lord. And then his lips uh, was unclean. Right. And then he realized, oh my God, I'm in the midst of a bunch of unclean people. Gossipers. Mm. Amen. Mm. Thank you, Lord. And 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 when he acknowledged uh, his faults, the Lord sent an angel. Uh, to take a coal uh, from the throne uh, and to go and touch his lips uh, to make him clean. Uh, same principle. When you acknowledge uh, that you got issues and faults and problems uh, before God's throne, he'll make you clean. He'll purify you. He'll cleanse you. Uh, he'll make you whole. Where else you gonna get wholeness? Nowhere. Where else you gonna find righteousness? Nowhere. Where else you gonna help get your deliverance? Nowhere. Huh? Uh, you know, it, uh, 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 can I just say this? Go ahead. You know, sometimes when uh, uh, I know, I know, ah, I, I, I hate even to say it, huh? but but you know, it bothers me huh? when when people profess to know the Lord. Uh, and then when trouble hits, they run everywhere else but to him. Yeah. Right. Huh? That's where you're going to get your help. That's where you're going to find your strength. Yes. Uh, That's right. That's uh, right. I, I love Elder Ratcliffe. Huh? But if I go and lay all my issues out on Elder Ratcliffe, I won't be none the better. No. Nope. Uh, but if I come boldly yes, to the throne of grace, Honest and open and lay my heart out to God. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll be helped. Yes, Lord. Huh? Yeah. Amen. But once again, here we go, here we go, here we go. Catch it, catch it. I got to be ready for his answer. Yeah. Uh, I got to receive the answer from the Lord. Yes. And and oftentimes the answer is gonna go, oh, I gotta check that out. All the time. That answer is going to go against your flesh. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And just because it goes against my flesh doesn't make it right. Yeah. I mean wrong. Huh? Yeah. Y'all with me today? Yes. Yeah. I'm growing up a church today. Yes, sir. Huh? I'm growing up some worshipers today. Yeah. I'm growing up some servants today. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? We, we, we in an atmosphere now where we got to be strong in the Lord. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Jackie about my issues huh? and that ain't gonna help me uh, I gotta come to the Lord yeah. Yeah. Uh, I gotta seek his presence yes, Lord. I gotta seek his help yes, Lord. Uh, am I right? Yes, Lord. Uh, if I really want help yeah. you know some people don't really want help on, they, right. just wanna, they just wanna cry and show them uh, to boo hoo with them right. Amen. but if you want help You'll uh, come to the Lord. Am I right? Yes, yes sir. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. All right, Reed, where we at? 21. Uh, what book? Where you at? Verse 21. In what book? 25. Uh, Exodus. Exodus 25 and 21. All right. <laughs> Amen. Hold on. I'm out. I'm out of the box. All right, Exodus 25, 25 
and 21. All right, read. And thou shalt put the mercy seat above upon the ark. All right. And in the ark thou shalt put the testimony that I shall give thee. All right, now 22 is the first we have. Read. And there I will meet with thee. Uh huh. And I will commune with thee. Now notice, I'll meet with you. Yeah. God says, I'll meet with you. I'll commune with you. What does that word commune mean? Talk with. Talk with you. Yeah. Amen. Have fellowship with you. Yeah. Don't we desire that? Yes. I want to have fellowship with God. Amen. I want to commune with God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> that makes a difference. Yeah. Amen. And it's our obligation. It's our heritage. It's our right. Amen? Amen. Y'all didn't hear me when I said that. Yes. It's your obligation. Notice, it's your heritage and it's your right. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have a right to come before the Lord. Yeah. Right. Why? Because Jesus paid the price. Yeah. You have a right to come boldly. How? Why? Because Jesus paid the price. Yeah. Huh? Hallelujah. Verily, for a righteous man would some die. Peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. Huh? But but God commended his love toward us. Huh? In that while we were yet sinners, huh? Christ died for the ungodly. Huh? He paid the price. He sacrificed. Amen. So you have a right. Huh? So, so don't neglect your right. Amen. Don't give up your right. Yes, sir. Wow. Uh, don't let the enemy deceive you. Don't let people deceive you. Yes. Come on here, somebody. Yes. Uh, because yes, the days are getting evil. Yes. Uh, uh, people are going to be falling by the wayside. Left and right and right and left. Yes. Amen. They're going to they gonna fall away in the church. Yes. Uh, yes. So you've got to make up your mind. Uh, you've got to set your heart like a flint uh, that by any means necessary uh, i got to see Jesus. By any means necessary i got to come boldly to the throne of grace. By any means necessary i got to commune with him. i got to see him and look upon his face. Hallelujah. Oh, Hey, hallelujah. 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 Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Uh, keep your eye focused on Jesus. Uh, don't cast away your confidence, which a great recompense of reward. Uh, when you come to Jesus, you have need of patience. Uh, that after you have suffered a while, uh, you might receive the promise. Uh, don't cast away your confidence. Uh, uh, I've been bought with a price. I'm not casting away my confidence. Uh, I know who I am. Uh, I know who paid the price. Hallelujah. I won't let him go until he bless me. Right. Until he bless my soul. Right. Daybreak may be coming, but I haven't received the blessing. I'm not gonna let you go. Till you do it. How many of you come too far on. by faith? How many of you seem too much? You've been through too much. You suffered too much. I gotta let it go. My Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Hallelujah. 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 We know too much. Yeah. Huh? Uh, I said we know too much. Saints, you know too much. You have tasted of his glory. You have been in his presence. You're in his presence right now. He's testifying of his glory. Glory, glory, glory. You've seen the hand of God. You've heard of his testimony. Oh, oh, he said you are his testimony. I'm surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. You know God is good. Yeah. 
That's right. So I got I got I got to commune with him. I got to find a way to talk to him.
Glory. And I'm going to act like I don't know him. Come on here. My Lord. Jesus. Somebody say glory. Glory. Hallelujah. What verse we in? 22. Okay, 22. Got it. All right, read what's it say? Mm. Notice, he said, There at the throne of grace. Here at the throne of grace. He said, What? I will meet with thee. I will commune with thee. You know what that really is? That's a convocation. Mm. Uh, men have conventions, God has convocation. <laughs> wow. Okay. Hallelujah. Look up that word, convocation. Hallelujah. I agree. From above the mercy seat. Uh, now notice, notice his position. Above the mercy seat. Why? Because he wants to have mercy upon you. God ain't looking to destroy you. Amen. You know you broke, busted, and disgusted and need help. Amen? Yes, sir. Huh? He don't kick a dog when he dies. Yes, huh? Come on! Huh? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> Amen? Hallelujah. All right. Now, from between the two cherubims, which are the holy fire of the testimony, uh -huh. of all things which I will give thee in commandment as the children of Israel. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Read. Thou shalt also make a table of shittim wood. All right, let's go back over. Let's go back over there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's then, let's go back over it. Now, to Psalm 20. My time is up. Well, Jesus. Thank you. So we'll, be, we'll be in this song. We'll be in this song next week. I just want to read that first verse. What does it say? The earth is the Lord's. The earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof. And the fullness thereof. The world and they as well therein. Now, David wrote this song. Read the second verse, because that two, those two verses go together. For he had founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Now David wrote this song to commemorate the celebration of the Lord in bringing in the Ark of the Covenant. Mm -hmm. Right? And the reason why he says those two Verses there in the beginning of the psalm is to make you think about God's glory. Mm. Amen? Amen. Uh, God often brings up the world and everything that he's made in the world mm. to kind of help us to understand his glory. Our problem is, you know, we be in one perspective. But there's a big old world out there. Oh, yeah. Huh? Just go to National Geographic or go to space, uh, NASA space right. television. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll see, you'll see his glory. When yeah. we saw Monday, was the glory sure. of God. Yeah. For sure. And people, a lot of people may try to make that turn that into evil. Uh, but you can't turn that into evil. No kind of way. Uh, uh, mm -mm. Now, amen? Yeah. Now notice. Read that again. Then we're going we gonna to leave in a few minutes. The earth is the Lord. Now everything belongs to the Lord. Yeah. He made it. Read. And the fullness thereof. And the fullness thereof. And everything that comes from this earth. He made it. Man can't make anything no. of themselves. No. Huh? That God did not supply. That's right. God supplied everything, everything. that man made. Amen. If you allow me to say it. Amen. And then.
God owns the intellectual properties uh, of what they've done because he gives them the wisdom and knowledge and understanding to do it. To do it. So right. that even comes from God. Yeah. Right. Uh, come on here. Yeah. Amen. Everything belongs to God. Yeah. Read it. The world and they that dwell. The world. Now, and they that what? Dwell. Well, yeah. what? Yeah. Very. Everybody. You dwell on this earth. Saved or unsaved, you belong, you belong to, to the Lord. Amen. Wow. Amen. Yeah. You belong to Him. Amen. The, 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 the rejoicing part of that is, is that when we realize we belong to Him, mm. uh, yeah. that's why Jesus had that prayer, which we call, uh, I forget what we call it, but our Father, yeah. the Lord's, Lord's Prayer. prayer. Who are in heaven? Uh, our Father. God is a provider. Right. God is a helper. Yeah. Amen. Uh, God provides for you as a father. Provider. Mm. Amen. Why? Why does he do that? Because you belong to him. Yeah. And he belongs to you. Right. Amen. He's provided for you. Everything that you need. Yes. Uh, that pertains to life and godliness. God has given it unto yes, Ought not we ought to praise him? Yes. Yeah. Ought not we ought to give him thanks? Yes. Ought not we ought to worship him? Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, all right. We're going to let that go. Amen. Because a whole lot of other thoughts is coming. All right. Any questions on our Bible study? Any comments? Well, I know God was talking. I only had a few comments tonight. <laughs> Go ahead. You said uh, that's our right. Yes.